Days to the day. We're putting this motor in. We got everything out of the way. We got the new motor mounts in, new transmission mounts down there. Um, so yeah, all I've got to do right now is pull this front cross member off, subframe piece, and drop it down so I can get the motor in here without having to take this hood off. Um, and I've already got it on the engine hoist, ready to go. Finish buttoning up everything on the new clutch assembly um, and the transmission. We've done, let's just kind of go over what I've done extra to this to make sure that I don't have anything uh, to go wrong, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, so. We've done a new transmission shaft ship uh, seal. We've replaced that. Um, we have also replaced the whole clutch assembly with a solid mass flywheel clutch kit from, uh, I think it's Valo. So uh, that came from FCP Euro. Um, we've replaced that. We have uh, went a little on the extra side and tried out these eBay headers went through and let, let's let's pull this thing out so I, so we can go over everything that, that we've done to it before we put it in this car Got it out in the sun. Now let's go over kind of what I've, I've still, I'm gonna change this out because I don't like that it looks like it's been ripped open. But uh, I can do that once it's in the car. I just wanna get this in the car and make sure that everything's gonna line up the way that it's supposed to. Uh, we replaced this seal, the uh, drive shaft, I guess the bushing. We also have changed the transmission shaft seal we have replaced the factory manifolds with these aftermarket headers and we split every single one of the flanges and went in and also drilled and tapped the holes that were not tapped for the the four areas so um, another thing that we replaced on this was the thermostat housing and the thermostat of course the water pump was also replaced with the aluminum propeller water pump um, fresh oil and put new plugs in it we have also put a new seal in the uh, the dipstick tube uh, we've made sure everything was flushed out, but I'm going to do that again once it's in the car and I've got it started up. We're going to flush the system with the radiator, drain the radiator, and put uh, genuine BMW fluid in there. So at this point, it's ready to drop this thing back in this car. Um, all i got to do is drop this cross member. Well, I guess it's not a cross member. It's the front subframe piece. We're going to drop it and lower it. I'm not going to take it completely out of the way because I don't want to have to have to recharge my AC system. So let's get to it.
So she's in. Got it sitting on the motor mount. Motor mount or the mounts on the transmission are lining up correctly. Everything lines up right. So one man show here. I was able to put this in by itself. Now the best trick is gonna be getting the uh, the flange down there to meet with this header. That's gonna be fun. And of course, just uh, start doing all the wiring. Get all the wiring done. And uh, hook every all the little accessories and stuff up. Put this back on. But uh, she's in there, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. Woo!